<laughs> set up a border of rocks. Good morning. We're doing, or I'm doing my first <laughs> hike since uh, my ACL surgery. This is very exciting. And I got some buddies with me. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Was a little concerned trying to film and walk at the same time, but we're doing well. We're almost halfway. We then we're gonna, we have. yeah, yeah, of course. We're racing everyone that's hiking today. We got a beautiful, well, it's not very sunny, but still pretty. We are now a little over three miles in. We are being guided by our leader, Connor. Very impressed with his hiking speed, but he says he just wants it to be over. <laughs> so that's the motivation. We made it, hiking done. I lied, it was a little over four miles, four point, like four-ish. Um, but knee feels good, so I was very exciting. Uh, it doesn't feel like sore at all. I mean, my legs in general feel a little sore, but nothing bad, so that was very good. Very exciting and very happy that I had two buddies to go with me so I didn't have to do it alone. I also can't believe that I used to do this hike at least once a week while I was training for CrossFit, usually with a weighted like backpack or vest, sometimes twice a week is my essentially my recovery day. Today it's basically my workout, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, but now we're gonna head back and hopefully get some food. Good morning. So it was the next day uh, we finished the hike. It was good. Uh, like I said, the knee held up very well. We definitely <laughs> went through it way faster than I was anticipating, um, but it was good. Made it around like an hour and a half or so. It was, yeah, I think I told you guys like four and a half miles, um, but good. And knee feels good today, so that's awesome. Um, I mean, I've been cleared to go on hikes and stuff uh, for quite some time, but just haven't gotten to do it yet. So excited to start adding that into um, the weekly routine. So I, well, I don't know if I'll be going weekly, but just doing it more often. Um, but yeah, so it is the next day and I am at work at home and this is my work setup right here. Nothing fancy, but got some those Tableau books blue blockers, my computer, and my Cal Bears mouse pad, um, and lots of water, of course. And got my office chair, which is exciting. But yeah, so had some morning meetings, those went well, and now I am going to head to the gym. Um, going to get a quick workout in during like my kind of lunch break, and then we'll come back. All right, back from the gym. This is a very, very good day. I honestly went um, in there kind of just being like, I just gotta get through this. Obviously, you know, moving well and stuff, still pushing a good amount of weight, but just was like, I gotta get this done and then back to work. Uh, but it felt really good. And I think taking, so I took Saturday and Sunday, Sunday off. So Christmas and the day after. And I think my body very much needed that. Um, I would say in the past, I normally, like if Christmas or things, whatever it is, falls on a day that I would normally work out. I usually work out and this weekend I think just my body was very much telling me you need to chill so I think those two days of resting and then yesterday of just hiking I think really did the body good so uh, we did chest and back today that was a lot of fun my pecs are definitely feeling it um, Ian and I had talked and I had just asked him just for kind of more so like my mental sanity going into gyms. Like I just want to do more circuit style type training just because I don't want to be resting as much. And especially now working during the day, like I just need to be very efficient with my workouts. So I really like that I've been doing these type of circuits where it's like two to three exercises, right uh, with no rest between each one. And then you rest between the total set. So today for chest, it was one and one quarter bench press, six to eight reps, right into um, essentially like cable flies for eight to 10 reps, and then right into eight to 10 wide, super wide push-ups, and then rest two minutes, did that four sets, and then we did some back stuff. But very good, I can tell I got a good workout because it's hard to hold this camera up right now. So I had a little snack this morning, but haven't had like my full breakfast yet, which is kind of out of the norm, but that's okay, we're gonna do that now. So just finishing up my shake 
Um, and now we're gonna have some oatmeal. The oatmeal is back in full effect. And we've upgraded the oatmeal. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already heard me talk about this, but Creatures of Habit oatmeal, it's so good and honestly has made my life so much easier in the morning. So you guys know, like especially in the last few months, like I've really been focusing on getting enough protein. So if I don't get a good enough protein in, or if I don't start, my days with a solid amount of protein. It's just brutal catching up throughout the day. So I always have like 20, 30 grams of protein with my breakfast. I've also been putting some collagen in my coffee so that helps me get a head start too. So usually it's like oatmeal and I'll make egg whites and stuff and I do love eggs and stuff but it's just nice with this that it's just all packed into one. Um, so it's 30 grams of protein in there, gluten-free, plant-based, which is awesome and um, and it tastes really good. I also like that it has different types of seeds in there. So there's like, it just makes the texture more fun instead of it just tasting like mush, like normal oatmeal. So, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna make that and uh, add some other stuff on top. But I also love that, so I'm not really an overnight oats person. I've just never been, I don't know why. Um, but I actually do love, I tried this out. So this uh, brand is made so you can do either instant oats or um, overnight. So I tried both and I actually really do like the overnight. So yeah, if you like overnight oats or if you never tried them, it's a good way to try them out. Um, this one comes in, or this oatmeal comes in vanilla, chocolate and blueberry banana. And we just came out with a new flavor, which is maple caramel, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm very, very excited to. Um, so I will keep you posted on that. All right, so got my oatmeal all ready to go. So I'm gonna enjoy this, maybe a little more coffee, um, and then back to work. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm heading back to the gym, going to just do some very light rehab stuff on my knee, and then sauna time. So while I wait for the sauna to heat up, decided to, or I am going to, I've decided to do a little EMOM of GHG sit-ups and burpees. We'll see how the burpees go. My arms are like definitely a little sore, so I don't know, might switch that up. But I think I'm also gonna add in some hollow holds. It's like a mix between burpees, hollow holds, and GHG sit-ups. out of breath, uh, but that was fun. Just did that for 15 minutes. Um, the hollow hold was for sure the hardest part, especially um, pairing that with the G2 steps, but just felt good, again, to move. Ended up doing, started with 10 burpees, um, or started with eight, but then realized I could get in 10 and still have a good chunk of rest in there. So I did 10, and then um, 30 second hollow hold, and then 12 G2 steps. And just did that five rounds for 15 minutes. Now I'm in the sauna, it is 125 degrees. I'm gonna sit in here for uh, like 30 minutes-ish. I'll check in back with you guys around then and see how I'm doing. But yeah, trying to get back to doing this more consistently and staying to on top of a lot of recovery, anything I can, you know, control, just taking care of that. Um, so on lower body days, I still do the hot cold tub or the contrast and then on upper body days starting to do this um, at least like two to three times a week right now 
um, when my schedule allows it and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so we've been in here for 38 minutes now. I'm just gonna go to 45. Kind of feel like I look like I just jumped in the pool. It's also very poor quality footage right here. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> All done. So 45 minutes in there. It got up to like 1.30ish, like just over 1.30. But yeah, I've really enjoyed just adding that in. Kind of gives me time to, I don't know, just wind down, relax. I've also noticed a huge difference, especially, I mean, it's definitely helped, I think, my knee. I really noticed a big difference with my shoulders. And I remember like months and or probably over a year ago now, well over a year ago now, when I was still doing CrossFit and my shoulder was aggravating me from time to time. I started integrating more sauna sessions into just my routine and noticed a difference. So I feel like that's been helping my upper body a lot. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And we are back. I was gonna show you guys what I ate for dinner, but I was very hungry and ate it all. And so, but I did have salmon. I had some sweet potato fries and some green beans. Also had uh, the salmon with some mango salsa that was very, very good. And now I'm having my dessert and it's another um, yogurt concoction <laughs> that I've uh, decided to make. And it is really good. So I chopped up a bunch of apples. So I think I told you guys I'm slightly allergic to apples, but when they're cooked, it's fine. Also, if I peel the skin off, I'm also fine, but that's just kind of annoying. Also, apple pears are okay, which is super weird, but you know, oh well. Uh, so I actually got some of those, those are very good. So I just chopped up the apple, any kind of apple you want, and then some cinnamon and just a tablespoon, a tablespoon of maple syrup just in a pan and just cook them for a little bit. It doesn't really matter how long or like I don't have an exact time, kind of depends on like how mushy or like not mushy you want the apples to be. Um, but it's super good on top of yogurt and kind of tastes like apple pie type stuff. I even, like the other night, I crumbled up some graham crackers on top and that was really good. Definitely try this out. It's also good because it's like relatively macro friendly, which is nice. And at the end of the day, um, I usually don't have a ton of fat left to eat. So yeah, just a nice treat to end of the day. I have a few extra carbs leftover so also having some dried mangoes which i haven't had in forever um and i love them it's a and i'm it's probably a good thing that i got these like individual packaged ones so it's like stops me from eating too many a time <laughs> all i got yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you're having an awesome day awesome week and i will see you in the next one Bye.